Okay, what I thought I'd do today is do some testing of these uh, small grid tie inverters. So I have uh, a couple, three different ones. I've got one of these normal power jack, uh, 14 to 28 volt uh, grid tie inverter, 300 watt. I have another one that's uh, also it's rated to it's called the uh, Therm 280 GT with this purple label on the top. <clears throat> then I have another one with a purple label which On the back, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a uh, Sun 250G rated at 10.8 volts to 30 volts. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, I've got these, i got the power supply which can give me, uh, the, it's a 0 to 15 volts on these leads. 0 to minus 15 here, so if I go between them, controlled by these two knobs, I can get up to 30 volts out at about an amp and a half. <clears throat> I have that connected up to <clears throat> my turnage meter, which you can tell right now is reading 11 volts coming out of the power supply and uh, no load yet. And obviously that's because the, the first uh, inverter that I've connected up is this power jack and it's not supposed to wake up until about 14 volts and I have the output of the power jack feeding into one of these uh, kilowatt meters so it also is reading zero volt zero watts into the line because uh, the power jack isn't awake yet so the plan is <clears throat> to uh, increase the voltage on the power supply watch the uh, blinking lights start to wake up on the grid tie inverter watch the uh, voltage and current come up on the turnage which says what's coming out of the so this is the input to the grid tie inverter and then this is the output going into the wall and so I'll run the test with all three inverters to basically trying to determine what the efficiency is for these uh, grid tie inverters, meaning <clears throat> how many watts going in and how many watts coming out, there's going to be a difference there. So let's, for sake of discussion, let's say 10 watts in, 7 watts out, that would be a 3 watt loss, which would be 70% efficient. Okay, and I'll just demonstrate how this works on the this first particular one, if you watch the uh, turnage 11 volts and keep your eye on the uh, power jack green lights, they should start blinking right about in there. It starts to move. So 14.7 volts, which is about, about what they said. And you can see I'm starting to get some power to the kilowatt meter. And at this particular setting, I'm getting 4.8 watts in and 2 watts out. But since the, the watt meter doesn't have a decimal place, I don't know how close to 3 watts it is. So don't go assuming it's less than 50% at this level. Uh, if I continue up with the voltage, you see the watts going up on the turnage meter. You'll see a corresponding watts going up on the uh, kilowatt and I can walk it all the way up. Let's go up, uh, let's say to 20 watts or so on the input here. It's a little hard because there's maximum power point tracking on the uh, on these uh, grid tie inverters, so they start, you can see how it can jump uh, jump things around. But we're about 20 watts here, getting 14 watts out. So let me collect the data on all these ones, 
and I will post that in the spreadsheet. Okay, I just wanted to show you I'm testing the uh, the Sun 250, which is supposed to start up at 10.8 uh, volts. You can see on the Turnigy, it's at 9.12. Not reading anything on the uh, kilowatt. Lights are not blinking yet. Start cranking the voltage a little bit here. Alright, there's 10.8. Lights are starting to flash, but not reading any power coming through. You'll see that in the on the Turnigy in the lower right corner there. When there we go. So it's just be it's about 11 and a half is really what I'm measuring. That we're getting some current through 50 milliamps. To get us over 12 volts. All right, we're getting a getting it to start to perk up here. See where we get our first watt coming through on the. There we go, and that's at four watts, 11.8. So now if we turn it, turn the voltage back down. Let's see when it drops out. There, it dropped out. Okay, just want to show you that 11.8 isn't really uh, cast in concrete, but it does work better than the power jack as far as starting up a little earlier, it looks like.